everyone, it's Mona. It's Monday Hair Craft Clutch, and that means it is Make Something Monday. Today we're going to do some eggshell mosaics, and I have these little wooden pieces that I got at, I believe it was Michael's. This one came in a package of a bunch of other little wooden pieces. It has a hole already, and I have a bird, a crab, and a heart. So all I'm going to do is pre-paint these with some acrylic paint, with the exception of this one. This one I think I'm going to just give it a try and I'm going to try to just dye it with a little bit of the ink. And I'm using the Dr. Martin's India ink and I'll have that linked over on my website craftclutch.com um, and I'll have it in the description below as well. I'm going to take a little eyedropper, take a little bit out, I don't need a lot. I'm going to just drip it on here. I'll kind of let it bleed into the wood. It will kind of work as a stain, I think. I haven't actually done it before. And I'm going to take my gloved finger here, kind of move it around. Make sure to get the edges inside that little hole and then the back as well. And these guys I'm just going to paint. So we'll have a little bit of a different look going. I have these eggshells that I have washed and dried and cleaned up. I had them in hot water, I had them in soap. I removed the membrane on some of them, some of them I didn't. But you wanna make sure they're clean and dry. So a lot of soap, a lot of hot water. Let them soak, soak for a day or two um, before you use them. Now our paint has dried and our ink has dried on this one. And all we're gonna do now is take some pieces of egg shell and we're going to let's start with the heart and you can use a weld bond you could use this the ultimate glue you can use a clear tacky glue um, I think I'm gonna go um, you can use the regular tacky glue that's fine anything that dries clear is fine I think I'll go with the ultimate glue then I'll have a good idea when it's dry I'm gonna put it on the heart And I'm going to take a brush, spread it around. I'm not necessarily trying to get it on the edges. If you get it on the edges, it doesn't matter. All right. And then you want to take some eggshell. And you want to just squeeze it down on there. And break it down on there. And you can move it around a little bit if you need. But you want to make sure it's making contact with that glue. If you're missing a piece somewhere, you can, you know, just kind of tuck one in. And if it's overflowing the sides, don't worry about that. We'll take care of that. I'll stick these pieces right in there. And they can be as fine or as big as you want. So you can keep pressing and breaking them down. Or leave them a little bigger. Whichever works for you is fine. Okay, then I'm just going to put that aside and let it dry. And then we'll be back. We'll clean it up and then we get to do the fun part. But I'm going to do the same on these other ones. And then we'll have them all ready um, to go. Once the glue has dried, all you need to do is break off the edges. And then take a sanding block or an old nail file works fine too and clean up the edges. Now comes the fun part. Now we get to do the colors. And I'm going to go, I'm going to start with this guy, the crab. and. I'm going to go very basic with him and I'm just going to do red ink. Now I've seen people do this with watercolor, um, liquid watercolor too. So you can try that if you think you would rather do that. I'm just going to do the India ink. You can do it, I believe you can do it with the alcohol inks too. But I'm just going to put it on here. And it'll soak into the eggshell. I'm going to use a glove, kind of help move it around and then I'm going to take a paper towel and I'm going to kind of dab it off you can put more on if you don't think it got the coverage that you wanted and on this one I'm going to go with pink and red so we're going to do a combo on this one so I'm going to go pink in a couple different areas and then I'll take the red we're just going to let this sit. It hasn't really covered everything. I'm just going to let it soak right into the fibers of that. And I think I'm going to put a little more red on this crab too. Alright, on the bird I'm going to do different colors. Okay. 
I'm going to take a paper towel. I'm actually going to do it on these first. We'll let that one sit for a minute. Alright, and then I'm going to do it on the red and the pink. I'm just pulling off any of the excess and then I'll add a little red through there because it turned out mostly pink. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the green and put it in the areas that didn't really seem to have anything. Now I'm going to take a paper towel and I'm going to blot. Now we have some really neat colors. Now I'm going to add a little bit of the green now into some of the areas that seem a little bare. And I'll blot again. Some areas will hold the color really darkly, like there's that one spot there or the tail, and others won't hold it quite as, as strongly, but that's all fine. So now here it is, it's all colorful. And now we just have this one, and this one I think I would like to do purple and pink maybe. And then I will blot. That's a nice pastel -y one because I didn't leave it that long, and I'm going to let all of these dry really well and then we're going to put a protective coat over them. Mm. Once your pieces are dry, and you really want them dry, I'm going to take some triple thick and I am going to just paint it right on here. This will give it a nice finish. The mosaic, the eggshell mosaics have dried and here they are. Here is the bird and here's the heart and here's the crab. And here is the little square one. And the little square one, it has that hole already, and you can certainly drill holes into any of these. But I was thinking you could just take like a little metal piece on this one and glue it to it, and now you have this fun background for like this little metal bird. And you put a jump ring in there, and now you have a cute little pendant. So I hope you like these. You can use these as little gift tags, little ornaments, um, table scatter. Um, you can put them in a coaster. So I hope you like them. I hope you give them a try. Um, tell me which one you like best, and tell me if you've ever tried anything like this before. Leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Happy crafting.